So hey everyone, we are at Shane's in Hampton, New Hampshire. They have barbecue, Tex-Mex, tacos, margaritas. They have it all and they have a really cool outdoor seating area. I'm so excited to show you this one. So I am here outside at Shane's. I am here with Alyssa. Mm -hmm. Alyssa is actually Shane's daughter. She helps him run everything. <laughs> um, so tell me a little bit about the history of the place and kind of go from there. Yeah, so um, we opened Shane's up front about yep. three years ago um, and we wanted to bring barbecue to Hampton. Um, my sister lives out in Texas, okay. so we go and visit her all the time and we are just spoiled with all this amazing barbecue. and. Um, didn't get to have that at home. So we wanted to bring a little bit of Austin barbecue here in Hampton. Nice. Um, once we kind of got more established, we really wanted to bring that authentically Austin um, to this area. Um, so we were going to, you know, name some of the dishes like uh, Tex-Mex and Sixth Street and things that people who've gone yeah. to Austin they know. would. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that kind of sparked the idea for the backyard here um, because we Which wanted is really cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We've ever been to Austin or Rainy Street? It's a whole string of bars that are just really, really cool backyards. So yep. we're like, if we're going to be authentically Austin, we have to have the coolest backyard ever. Yep. Um, we wanted to bring some of the art that is famous in Austin. The I love you so much, the You're My Butter Half. And then this year, we kind of went with all original art from local artists here in our area. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. It's so colorful and bright and like, just kind of hip. Happiest place in Hampton. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's it right there. Yeah. So something a little special we have back here is the can bar. We have some props. It's this little guy back here. So tell us a little bit more about that. So we have 35 cans that we serve back here, which is pretty cool because the industry kind of switched to cans. Yeah. Like last year, everyone was canning stuff. Yeah. Um, canned cocktails were brand new last year. Um, RTDs, ready to drink cocktails, yeah. are huge business now. So um, it's really cool that we get to have so much variety. Nice. Um, we, when we first started, I said I wanted only the coolest looking cans. <laughs> so that's why a lot of them are really colorful. <laughs> they had to match the murals. Yeah. Got to fit with the style that you yeah. got going on. Last year, we actually only had a taco bar back here because okay. if you go to Rainy Street, they only have like little food trucks. They don't have actual kitchens. Yeah. So um, we really took off with our tacos last year. So you're gonna try the Tyson, which okay. is a al pastor. So spicy pork with guacamole and a pineapple salsa. The Barton, which is our veggie taco. So it's got sweet potatoes, beans, a lime aioli. Hmm. And then um, I have the salty cowboy, which is pulled pork, shrimp, and uh, salsa as well. Cool, I'm excited. I'm looking at them now, so I'm <laughs> super excited to eat them. I also see some chips and guac too. Yeah, of course. You guys have really good guac? We do. Super excited. There are two separate menus, right? Yes. So we're having the outdoor menu, which is mostly tacos? Tacos, handheld food, gotcha. sandwiches, burgers. All right, so at some point we're gonna go inside and we're gonna have some of the cool, like, smoked, real authentic stuff. Yes. So what are we gonna have while we're in there? So. Inside we have um, eight different smoked meats. So we've got ribs, which are incredible. The dinosaur ribs, they are huge. They like literally look like they came off of a dinosaur. <laughs> um, we have uh, pulled pork, brisket. Um, the brisket takes 16 hours to smoke. Um, we have um, pulled chicken, all tons of meat for you to try. Cool. Mm-hmm. That passes my guac test. So I have three tacos, veggie one, that's the pastor, pulled pork, I'm gonna start veggie. Uh, their tacos are very full. I'll say that start, probably gonna be really messy. And I don't have napkins, so don't judge me. Mm-hmm. 
first one's really good. I'm actually a little surprised by it. Um, really nice flavor to it. So we're gonna go, let me say this is the pastor. So a little spicy. I'm all about the spice. Mm. Sounds really good. It's got just enough kick to it. Cooled down by the cream. The veggies in there. This one I'm very excited about. I see pineapple salsa. Mandarin oranges. Also going to be very messy. That's like the summer taco right there. Got a little shrimp, pineapple salsa, mandarin orange. It's like citrusy, sweet, spicy. Really good. These tacos are out of this world. So, per usual, I am overwhelmed. There's so much food here. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. This is gonna be all over me. We'll start here, because this is safe. So we got brisket, ribs, coleslaw, mac and cheese, cornbread. Let's start with the brisket. You don't even need a knife. Mm-hmm. Brisket is tender and really tastes the smoke. The, the dry rub on the outside is amazing. You really don't even need sauce for this stuff. Ribs, they fall off the bone. Tender, they're so moist. The dry rub's great, like I said before. This one's got a little kick to it. I really like. We're gonna try a little bit of the coleslaw. It's vinegary and it's creamy all at the same time, which is good. It's kind of how I like my coleslaw. Ooh, mac and cheese, you got that cheese pull. Mm hmm. It's good mac and cheese, you can't go wrong with that. Corn bread. Oh, it's warm. Mm. Cornbread, super sweet. It's nice and flaky. Really good. Do I have to eat this on camera? Jake says yes. So this is pulled pork, barbecue sauce, bacon. Mac and cheese. I don't know what to do. Get some napkins ready. And here goes nothing. That all works so well together. It's creamy from the mac and cheese. Pulled pork is really nice and juicy. The sauce is great. The bacon has a nice smoke flavor to it. All of this, all of this was out of the world, out of this world. So if you find yourself on the seacoast of New Hampshire, you want some good barbecue, some good tacos, a good time, nice place to sit, come to Shane's. I ended up starting to I saw it, but I was like, I just yeah, rolled with it. It just happened. <laughs> it's so good. Anything else? 